On to our next speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together for Captain Sunshine, Jeff Bell. <laughs> Is a feather, grind, a play, um, tell me down a bit cold, dear, oh dear. Um, I'm going to tell you my story, how I got from zero to VIP. How many VIPs are there in the room? Would you stand up, please, if you've ever qualified for VIP? Quite a few. Fabulous. Now, most of these people are elite retailers that who have to get a threshold that Michael said. And I'll do more of that. Now, can you remain standing if you had zero customers four years ago at the Don't Stop Me Now showcase? Very good, Jenny. I love that. <laughs> okay. So, um, like most of us here, we started... Oh, okay. Success is inevitable. And my immediate thought was, if you follow a proven system. But is that enough? If you, is it just following a system? So, like most of us, joined as pioneers on day one. <laughs> we got existing customers that we hadn't finished with. And we re-established that and found new ones. Um, and an important point of our story is we were living in rented accommodation in Maidstone, Kent. So, summer 2019, life started to throw a curveball. We've heard much about this curveball. Um, our personal circumstances. I've got a bad knee. You may not notice this, but I played hockey for a long time and I damaged the meniscus between my bones and I actually bruised the bones by running about on um, Astro. It meant I couldn't do as much as I wanted to. Jenny has had fading eyesight, it's much better now, but Jenny couldn't actually uh, put catalogs out much, her eyesight was going. And our landlord, was very ill and eventually passed away. So they put our home up for sale. They were gonna, he said it was worth a lot of money and the family said, oh, let's have some of that. Right, so we're in our mid-sixties and they're gonna sell the home from underneath us. What do we do? Well, we moved 250 miles north. To Hull. Oh, where did that go? There, there it is. So we were in Maidstone here, and we moved to Hull. We've got a few houses up there, um, so we thought, why not? So we were full of anticipation, and, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Jenny's washing the bins, slips over, breaks her elbow. That's a good start. There was the infamous warehouse move. Who remembers the warehouse move of 2019? <laughs> Michael said, we're moving the warehouse. You've got to get all your orders done. Your returns have got to be by so-and-so. And at the Don't Stop Me Now showcase, Michael said, I bought the company. Fantastic. He said, I'm the sole owner. He said, in four weeks' time, you can have a 20 page catalogue with 22 products in. Woohoo! I thought, Michael, you love challenging me, but really? Um, have you watched Clarkson's Farm 50 Squad? Yeah. 2019, he's bought the Lamborghini. It's too wet to harvest. It's biblical rainfall. Um, just across from where we are in South Yorkshire, wettest year on record. Come Christmas, I had 16 customers. Okay, 2022, gotta be better, 2020, gotta be better, yeah? 
Jimmy's had three eye operations, one before Christmas, two after. They're an hour south of where we used to live, a five-hour drive. So we go down one day, Jenny has the operation, we come back the next. We do that three times while I'm building a customer base. We're blanket dropping. Not very impressive, is it? Oh, I've got a hundred catalogues a week. What's going on here? It's like wading, knee deep through treacle. Have you been there? Have you done that? Have you just felt... Still doing that. <laughs> Still doing it, Jim said. Yeah. It wasn't easy. And then, of course, Covid hit us. Woohoo! Come on, what else can you throw at me? Impressive. <laughs> 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 right on cue there. Thank you very much. So, while that, we're waiting for that to come back. <laughs> hey! Uh, oh no, back a bit. Covid lockdown, there we go. So we're isolating, but we're not isolated. We're attending Zoom, we're phoning Steve and Janet at Upline regularly. We're going on team Zooms, the Wednesday webinars, and Scott Fisher had a Zoom for everybody. So we're isolating, we're being safe, but we're not isolated. I have got a vision for our move to Hull. I'm going to build an enterprise that will touch the lives of thousands. I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but that's my vision. That's why I'm 250 miles north of where we live. So, we start again. Period 9, I'm doing about the same, I'm doing period 3, and I thought, I need to change my business. So instead of doing 100 catalogues a week, I'm now doing 100 catalogues three times a week. And slowly my business is building. But then Michael encourages me. The VIP incentive comes. If you go from period 11, 2020, to period 12, 2021, and you get 600 pounds of catalog orders, you become a VIP. And Janet says to me, come on, Jeff, you can do that. Okay, I thought, we'll have a go. And we made it. But the really important, thank you. It was still a big effort. But something, someone, a leader in Lindsay said to me was the important thing is, now what, not how much you get a catalogue, but how many new customers you find each period. There's 14 periods there, 11 to 11. There's 142 new customers. That mindset changed my business. Woohoo! VIP. And I've maintained it ever since. So how did I get from zero to hero? I had a vision of what I wanted to achieve. I wore future glasses. I could see in the distance where I wanted to be. And I went for it. Oh, I did my shift in the treacle mines at Hull. <laughs> Do you know what? It made me stronger. It gave me the stamina to continue and to keep on doing it. I spoke with my upline regularly. I learned from others at team meetings. And I learned this, one of my favourite quotes. Jim Rohn, success is not to be pursued, it's to be attracted by the person you become. Two things have happened to me this year which have proved <coughs> this to me. January this year, get a note from uh, Crossline, someone I knew from the previous business, and they said, we're retiring. 
Would you like our customer base? We've spoken to our upline, they've got no underground locally. We've seen what you've done, would you like to? And I thought, yes! <laughs> Those customers are worth 200 pounds a month to me. There's one lady, lovely lady, regularly orders over a hundred pounds. That customer base has been building for 18 years. And that has made a huge difference to me. But it wasn't at the beginning, it was once I ploughed through the treacle. And then, about March this year, <coughs> get a phone call. Guy I knew in the previous business, and he was talking, and I thought he was going to pitch me. He talked about my success and what I've done, and he said, I'd like to join your team. I thought, well, I hadn't advertised. I hadn't um, said I want people, but please now join my business. Things that happen in his life is not going as well as what it, but he's determined. He's a great guy, he'll be a legend. His name's Dave Brown, watch for that name. I've had the two minute warning, but I have to tell you one final thing. If you're taking notes, write this down. This is important. Success is a team sport. You don't get success on your own, you need a team. And so I would like to thank my team. Jenny, my wife of almost 50 years, my upline, Lynn, and your group of leaders, you've made so much difference. And of course, the HQ team, they have produced fabulous capital. Can you believe we started with this? And within two years, I'm a VIA, starting with this and no customers. If at almost 70, I can do it, anybody can start now and be a VIP next year. You've been fabulous. Thank you so much.